Y'all, we have some bittersweet news that I'm bringing to you guys today. Uh, J.J. Watt announced that he will be retiring at the end of this season. Uh, he was drafted 11th overall in the first round of the 2011 NFL Draft by the Houston Texans. He's a 6'5", 288-pound monster. This guy terrorized the NFL earlier in his career. He played all 16 games from 2011 to 2015. And after 2015, he was only able to play a complete season two times. I think he was more famously known for that week four 2013 hit on Russell Wilson, which caused his nose to bleed. I mean, he was gushing blood. Everybody kind of knows J.J. Watt from that one instance. He was absolutely unrelentless getting to the quarterback. He would stop at no means to make sure he's getting the sack for his team. In 2014, he won Defensive Player of the Year, recording 20 and a half sacks, 29 tackles for loss, and five touchdowns. Oh, I said it, five touchdowns. Mind you, he is a defensive player on the defensive line, and he scored three offensive touchdowns, with only two being defensive touchdowns that year. Watt will also be remembered for all the charitable things he did off the field. Not only did he do several things, the most notable was in 2017 when he raised more than $41 million to aid those affected by Hurricane Harvey. As of right now, he has 111 and a half sacks, which puts him at 26 overall all time with still two games left to play in this season. He should no doubt be a first ballot Hall of Famer in 2028. He should be able to see that jacket being put on him, that golden jacket and his bust up there, and he deserves it. He played his heart out since he was drafted, he was dominating the league, and he left the league in fashion. I'm sure his retirement at the early age of 33 was partially due to that atrial defibrillation that he had earlier in the season. They actually had to shock his heart back to a normal rhythm. But either way it goes for J.J. Watt, I know I appreciated watching him playing. Many of you out there appreciated watching him playing. He's gonna have a happy retirement. We're always gonna remember those games that he gave us when he was just terrorizing those quarterbacks, getting after the quarterback, leading his team to victory, not only for the Houston Texans, but also being a big mentor in the locker room for the Arizona Cardinals right now. But that's all I got for you guys today. I can't wait to see you guys on the next video, bringing to you guys tons of news. Now that we're ending up in the 2022 season, we're gonna be starting up the 2023 content. Can't wait for you guys to be here. We'll see you guys next time.